YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. We are going to be doing a mid taper on my boy, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a fast fade. These are going to be fast steps uh, to achieve a faster haircut in a short amount of time. Other than that, it's your boy Noel Blends, and let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is start off by combing his hair in the way it's supposed to lay down. We are going to be going against the grain with the number 7 and just getting everything down as clean as possible as much as we can with these new clippers that I just got. These are the Stylecraft Instincts. I do think the clipper is super fire. They're super dope. Honestly, I don't even know if I said that right. I think it's Instincts or Instincts. I don't know. Y'all get the point. But these clippers are super strong. They vibrate a lot. That's the only thing that I do not like. After you're done using them, your hand feels like if it if it fell asleep you know what i mean as you guys can see i am combing his hair throughout he does have a cow lick on top his hair grows a bunch of ways different directions just make sure you go against it so right here what you want to do is start off with the number two guard we're going to begin his blend so these are going to be steps on how to really um get, achieve a faster haircut that way you can knock out more heads about 30 minutes if you follow these steps you'll be able to knock out a haircut in about 30 minutes with beard maybe like 40 but these steps do help speed up your time a lot i did start off with the number two that way we can make sure everything's down nice and down and debulk as you guys can see i did set in my first initial bond guideline right here it is going to be like a mid taper and we are going to keep this organic we're not going to add no enhancements we're just gonna keep it nice and simple and that way obviously if you add more more if you add enhancements it's gonna take a lot more time for you guys to to get a faster haircut in this is for the people that are the barbers that really want to um, achieve faster haircuts so what you want to do for your first step we do want to create about a half inch guideline with the lever fully open just make sure everything's nice and down to this, to the lever open, and just make sure it's even. The guidelines ni uh, nice and neat. Like I told y'all before, if you guys don't make your guys' guidelines neat, your haircut is going to be all over the place. You got to get that through your head and really pr try to practice and, and master that. Just make the guidelines uh, really even. Next, what you want to do is grab your number one guard, lever fully closed, and create about another half inch guideline. As you guys can see, instead of sandwiching the blend, we're we're going up and we're blending out everything as we go. Next, what you want to do is open up the lever fully open, and now we're gonna create about another inch or a half inch guideline and go up as well. So we had it closed, now we fully opened it, and just make sure everything is nice in a circular motion. We are gonna uh, we are doing a mid taper, giving it basically like a little type of burst taper. So now we're going to come in with our half guard and clean up everything in between. Any little dark, dark spots you see, you want to flick them out, use your corners and just go right in between. We're just working in this area and just making everything as smooth as possible. So we are going to come in and take off the bottom bottom line we, cr we created at the beginning, our first initial ball guideline. We're just going to flick it out, just go right on it, pretty much breaking the line. Uh, just play it safe because you can push it up, so just use your corners and once you see it come out, just leave it alone. You ain't got to spend a lot of time on this. All you got to open it about a notch. As much as you need to, as you guys can see there, I went probably like halfway. I'm still utilizing my corners and just... That way I do not push up the blend. Just be careful with that. Just make sure you guys use your corners. So this step is optional. If you didn't get all the, if you're not satisfied with your blend or you didn't get all those little stubbles out with your clipper that you missed, come in with our zero gap trimmer and just flick anything out. So next we come in with our one and a half guard lever halfway closed and we're just gonna connect the top to the bottom. Just go straight up. Do not dig in because you will take off a chunk and 
basically you're gonna have to push up the blend so just go straight up and make sure everything connects once you see it lighting up just leave it alone do not spend so much time on it as you guys can tell i'm just going right on the dark areas and just keeping the blade flat and going straight up Make sure you do brush, that way the hair lays back in the correct uh, way it's supposed to. All the product I'm using is listed down below and um, all the clippers and everything will be in the description. That way you guys can check it out and purchase any if you guys uh, would like to. If you guys do decide to purchase any faded culture, please use my discount code at NOLFC to get 10% 10 10 off your next order. Now to start off the back taper, we are going to go with the number two guard, let it fully open and just clean any bulk um, that is there, just making sure everything's down to the number two guard. Next, what you want to do is grab your zero gap trimmers and we are going to do our first initial bald guideline you guys can see i do like to bring it up a little bit in the corners depends on his head shape if he has a crazy dip um i would i will bring it up some more but he doesn't he has more of a of a flat back neck so it should be it should be good it doesn't need a lot of a lot of lifting around the corners these trimmers are zero gap so just let the trimmer do the work do not put crazy pressure because you can irritate your client cut them or it's also going to be very tough to take off that bottom line if you guys put a lot of pressure just let the trimmer do its work if it's zero gap it's going to get it down to close skin as as best as possible just make sure you guys don't irritate your clients and just light pressure you ain't got to put a lot of crazy pressure on it it's going to be it's going to be tough for you guys to take out the line Next, what you want to do is go with your no guard, lever fully open, and create about an inch guideline. We are going to stretch it out a little bit more on his back. Taper, I do like to go a little bit. I don't like to keep him super low for my clients unless they specifically ask me for that. Other than that, I'm going to spread the blend pretty nicely throughout the back. I think it makes the taper just pop out that much more and look a lot cleaner. Once we do that, we move on to our number one guard, lever fully closed, and we're gonna create about another inch guideline, and just keep the blade flat, even, nice even neat guidelines to get that nice buttery blend. Then we fully open up the number one guard, lever fully open, we're gonna create about another inch guideline. Remember these steps are for you to have a faster time in your blends and your in your fades, all that. These ain't my original steps, these ain't the ones I do every time. My original steps are the ones I do in the other videos, but this these steps are I wanted to show you guys this uh, just in case you guys want to learn how to cut a little bit faster. So once we finish up that step, we're gonna come in with a half guard, lever fully closed, and we're gonna attack that middle ghost line, as you guys can see. We're just gonna flick everything uh, right on the line.
take your time on these steps on this step right here just make sure it's uh as smooth as possible to where you like it where it looks nice and clean do not spend a lot of time on it once you see the blend or the line come out just leave it alone do not be ocd about it but just make sure you see it come out and it, you should be good just don't mess with it because you probably more than likely will push up the blend So now we're going to take off the bottom line and we're just going to flick right on it. Just basically breaking that line. Do not push it up. Please just go right on it and just flick out. It should come right out. Uh, open it about a notch halfway if you need to. As much as you need to. Just to make sure that line is nice and uh, blended out. So once you have everything blended out, go in with your number one and a half guard, lever halfway closed, and just go straight up. As you guys can see, I'm going to be giving it more of a scoopy motion. Just basically connecting the top to the bottom. We are going to come in with our shears to just make sure everything is nice and connected as smoothly as possible. As you guys can see, I'm scooping out right there. Right here, my client has a dip right, right around his ear, so it creates a little dark spot. I came in with my one guard just to lighten everything up. So right here, we come in with our shears. This is my taper comb and my thinning shears, and we're just going straight up just to connect everything as best as possible. Basically, just feeding the hairs into the shears is going straight up. Right here, I'm just throwing it on his edge up or his back line up. Don't be afraid to pull down that ear. Just tapering up his beard. If you guys want a, a video of more in-depth tutorial on how to do a beard, please let me know in the comments. That way I can get one going for y'all. So just in case you forgot what my client came in looking like, this was the before. And this was the after. I think the cut came out super dope. No enhancements, just super organic basic taper mid taper burst taper whatever you want to call it clean overall haircut nothing crazy if you guys if these steps helped you guys please let me know in the comments send me a message on instagram follow me on there at noel blends on my tiktok at noel blends like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video other than that your boy noel blends and i'll see you guys next week peace